On today's episode of It's a Camera, It Takes Pictures, we have something near and dear to my heart, my very own heart. It's a Canon T50. Now this is the camera that started it all. My love of photography and film photography specifically. Not that there's anything wrong with digital, but I only shoot film because I'm a weirdo. Anyhow, I found this in my parents' closet about seven months ago. And when I first looked through this viewfinder, I was blown away. This viewfinder is great. I've learned that they're not all as good as this, sadly. And I've learned also that this, unbeknownst to me at the time, is not a very full-featured camera, and that is both a blessing and a curse. So let's start at the front, I suppose. We have the Canon uh, 51.8 FD new style lens. This is a pretty awesome lens, nothing too fancy, it's just a five-bladed aperture, and it doesn't have the beautiful silky feel of the focus like the earlier ones do, but man, it is sharp, it is light, and it has never let me down. Moving on a little bit, a little, a little bit and a little more mashed into one, we have behind that an incredible, a magical metal focal plane shutter, which is cool, these are super durable, and they almost make a bit of a different noise when you use them. Now, as far as the operation of the machine, we have a very simple operation of a very simple machine. We have a locked shutter, our battery check, and it makes a little click when you do that, which is fun. Program mode, which you leave it in for fairly the entire time you're shooting. And also a self-timer mode, which you use at your own discretion, because you are a vain, vain person. Now then, you leave it in program, and that is the extent of your control. Leave the aperture in auto, and you focus it, and you shoot it, and it's probably going to expose well if you know how to expose. That is to say, you're not going to be able to magically point it at things and it's just going to know exactly what you want. You have to be able to use exposure lock. But that being said, the meter is dead on as far as I can tell. And it knows what ISO with this little dial on the left side. You push down the button. It has 1600 to 25. I wish we could still get 25 or 50. Well, I guess you could still get Ilford 50, but I'm diverting on a tangent. Sorry, this camera just excites me because I love it. As I was saying, you put it in program, you focus, and you shoot. You can change your aperture to something on the lens, but you will be locked to 60th of a second because that is the flash sync speed, and it's going to assume you're using a flash and blink a big red light at you saying M, 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 which is for manual. I'd like to take a moment now to demonstrate the beautiful shutter sound of this thing. Oh, just, the, just that advanced motor. It's, is there a more classic noise than that? I think not. And I know I'm all over the place on this review, so let me sum up what's beautiful about this camera. It's fairly light, but just hefty. Mm, okay, no, it, it's a little bit hefty, but not excessively hefty. It's built well. It's extremely simple to use, which means all you do is look through this beautiful, gigantic finder window and compose the best pictures you possibly can. That is all you do. You frame it, you compose it, you just look for a great angle, and you leave the rest of the camera. If you want more control than that, and you know you're ready for it, get something like the FTB I'm going to review, because that gives you the control. But if you're going to a party and you don't want to fiddle like I did recently, you just bring this along, focus it, shoot it. It'll come out great. And everyone else in the park will laugh at you because you have a little plastic SLR that was made for the entry level but you'll be having a fantastic time, and you'll be busy thinking about how to compose your shots, and not one of the million features you have on your camera. And that is about all I have to say about the Canon T50. It works, it's easy, it's cheap, it takes great lenses, except they're getting more expensive because of you micro four thirds users. <laughs> anyway, and it is a plastic fantastic. That's all for now, kids.